Simone. Well, when educators at Lincoln Avenue Elementary School noticed some kids were chronically absent from the classroom because their parents couldn't take them to school, they decided to come up with a creative solution with the community. Educators and volunteers pick up the kiddos in the morning with a walking school bus. It's a simple concept that has had a profound impact on the community. For assistant principal, Misty Ellen Kreider of Lincoln Avenue Elementary School. Oh, snap, here they come. This is the best way to start her day. Good morning, how are you? Good, we're sissy. With a warm hug from one of her students. Coming? Mm -hmm. Her sisters, Mia and Malia, they are joining Kreider on a walk to school. Cupcakes and ice cream? Yeah. As part Did of Lincoln Avenue's school? walking school bus program. We're going to walk up a little bit and then we're going to cross it. The students hold on to okay, a physical Daniels. cardboard cutout of a bus. Oh my gosh, you dropped the bus. And hold on to Kreider's hand. All right, girls. As she guides them safely Step up. from block to block. We're talking about like yeah. his birthday stuff. Mm -hmm. I love Miss Kreider and I like to hold it. After noticing attendance rates were slipping for some students, the walking school bus program started about five years ago as a creative solution to make sure students who live near the school not only get to the classroom, but also get there safely. A lot of our parents, if there wasn't a grown up walking with them, wouldn't send them to school. On Mondays and Fridays, educators and volunteers walk a predetermined route, gathering students along the way. We were noticing attendance trends that Mondays and Fridays were really hard for a lot of our families to get kids here to school. So in, an, in order to improve those attendance rates, we would go and pick some kids up. And with every stride, the program is also building community connections while lifting a burden off parents. Kreider says since they've implemented the program, they've seen an increase in attendance rates for specific students. One of our little friends, her mom had a baby and a C-section, so she couldn't even start the school year because mom couldn't bring her. So the fact that we were able to offer this service, she missed the first week and a half of school now. She's been here every day. And as the kids arrive safely at school, Kreider says this is an example of what community is all about. A village coming together to build a support system for others. Not just our job on the walking school, school bus to keep them safe, but that our neighborhood embraces that safety as well, so that if we're not here, our kids have that sense of safety in the neighborhood as well. Yeah. Yeah, so the walking school bus has two routes and they pick up about 10 kids on Mondays and Fridays. And let me tell you guys, Ms. Kreider, mm -hmm. she speaks amazing Spanish. When she started oh. speaking Spanish, I was like, you go, girl. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> no, but you can tell how much the kiddos love her. Yeah. Uh, as soon as they see her, they just want to hug her. And that's the best way that's she awesome. says to start her days. Yeah, it's so cute, too. And they carry, I mean, the bus, obviously, they carry that's because adorable. it's a walking school bus, mm -hmm. right? But it also is big and bright yeah. and yellow and it tells people they're crossing Visible, the street. Yeah. And it's yeah. Just think about how many kids though can't honestly make it to school, right. right? Their parents may be busy or you could have a single parent who has to get to work. So it's a good option to have even more reason why we love our educators oh, and yeah, volunteers because they do so much. 94. Yeah, a serious crash that is blocking at least three lanes along that 4194 stretch. What you're looking at is the northbound lanes and you could see traffic is able to get on by, but it's squeezing just by one lane. So we're seeing some delays. This is right at County Road C. So if you typically enter the interstate in Southern Kenosha County, right at 104th Street near those prime outlets, you're going to want to skip that. Take the frontage road all the way up to Highway 50, then enter on the interstate there because we're seeing once again this long stretch of delays along the interstate system 4194 right here in Kenosha County due to a crash. So you do have emergency vehicles on scene. Looks like you also have officers walking along the roadway there. So please use some extra caution as you are traveling in this area. Let's take a look at those delays extending back past the prime outlets going to eventually head towards that state line. This is a busy time when people head out and about for their morning commute. So just anticipate that these delays will build. The rest of the roadways are looking really good. We're not seeing any other crashes out on the interstate system. We're going to continue to monitor that crash in Kenosha County. If we get any additional information, we'll pass that along to you. Simone and Tom.